Welcome to Discover Central, and today we will be making an impact sensitive explosive. So let's get right into it. So for this project, you're going to need a couple trays. So I'm just using these, these two lids from my containers that I have. And the most important part, matches. So, so the best kind for you to use for this experiment are the Strike Anywhere matches, which are the ones that I'm going to have to be using. So, let's begin. First thing that you're going to want to do is get your matches. So, right now, we're going to start with three. We're just going to do a small batch, then I'll leave it up to you guys to do it more. You're going to need three matches to start off with. So what you're going to do is to get the match heads off of the actual match. So how I'm doing this is using my pocket knife, but uh, in all reality, you could just use a hammer to smash it off, kind of like this, if you had a hard surface, but I'm doing this on a plastic table. So I'm just going to be cutting them off just to get that off. So I kind of lied when I said I was only going to do three, because I realized about at that moment I might not have had enough, because the majority of that there was actually, not, well not majority, a lot of that there was actually the wood. So, and another thing to add is to probably use a hammer, because I'm figuring out now that the knife scrapes off some of the wood there from the actual match head too, and you're getting a lot of that in there. Not that it creates a huge difference, but the difference is there. For the next part of this, you're actually going to have to use your knife. And you're going to need the side of the box. What's on here is just the red phosphorus and glass, and I'm using the wrong part of my knife. So, just scrape that off until you get a decent amount of the red phosphorus on the tray. So for the scratching the stuff off the side of the box, I had to come back and do that inside because the wind outside wasn't that favorable. So I just finished it up in here and ended up with about this much. After you get the phosphorus off the side of the box, you're going to need kind of a little cutting board per se. So once you get that, you can just put the match heads here and you just Smash them, pulverize them, hit them with a the hammer. Doesn't matter, all you need to do is get them small. The method that I use is just to cut them up really tiny. Or just cut them up until they're it's really easy to. So let's just get to that. So this next part where you're actually going to have to start doing some measurements. So what you're just going to do now is measure out your red phosphorus and potassium chlorate. So the potassium chlorate is the green stuff, or where the match is, is the red phosphorus, which is the red. So what you do is you measure it in parts of, make sure you have double the amount of the match heads. Once you measure it out two to one, you're going to want to get another container. I will get right here. And this is going to be one of the more hard parts. You need to get your red phosphorus. I'm going to get that quick. And the green stuff. I don't think it's giving me a choice. And you're going to want to mix it up. Be gentle at it, because it, once these mix up, it is active. Okay, that's just enough. Then, next part. 
this last part's actually quite simple. So what you're, oh, that worked actually, is just get a piece of tape. I'm using duct tape, that's all I can find. But electrical tape or even just normal tape works great. So you just need to make sure you get the your powder, your boom powder, your that powder, your explosives, whatever you want to call it. Just set it on here. And then you just wrap it up. This is actually better because it's all kind of concentrated right in the middle. And make sure there's no leaks on the side. If there's those leaks, it's not going to be very good. And there you go. Your little impact sensitive explosive right here. Now let's go test it out. So now to actually set it off, you're going to need, really all you need is a hard surface. I'm using this. And I'm just using a big Allen wrench because I don't know where my hammer went. So, see, there's a bigger part of it, so it might hurt, but, dang it, there we go, see, and that's it, so if you enjoyed this video, just hit that like button, subscribe, anything you can do to support this channel.